this in half. I already cut this in half with my string here. Um, I cut it in half and I hollowed it out with my loop tool. With this scrap clay, you want to take the scrap clay and roll little tiny balls the size between a rice, a grain of rice, or a corn kernel. So you want to make about 20 little baby uh, beads, if you will. Zoom. Okay, so I've made little balls of clay that are going to serve as the shaker inside um, my my shaker, my maraca. The problem is, Joe, the clay will stick together if I bunch them. So I'm going to wrap with the paper towel over one of the little beads and roll and space these out. So all I'm doing is wrapping the paper to, uh, the beads in a paper towel, but separately so that they don't stick. I'm a little bit, I'm not adding a lot of pressure. Normally if these pieces of clay were dry, I could just crumple them into a paper towel, but I'm trying to keep them separated. So I'm rolling it like this. Now watch what I do. So my beads are in this paper towel. I'm going to put this inside the hollowed out area, but I can't close this yet until I score and slip it. So watch how to score and slip. So I'm going to take a fork. What scoring does, it's like Velcro. So I'm digging deep on these edges. I'm creating like a Velcro, Velcro texture on the areas that I'm going to connect. And then I want to add some water or what would be called slip, which is muddy water from the clay. So in this case, I'm just, because this clay is still pretty wet, I'm just going to wet these edges and that's going to serve like a glue. Now the most important thing when you put this together, you don't want to add too much pressure because you don't want to collapse that hollow area that the beads are going to shake in. So I'm very carefully adding pressure on the seam. And what you could do now, you want to carefully try to um, smooth out the seam, but if you need to, you can use some of that scrap clay to fill in those cracks, but just don't add too much pressure. So I'm smoothing gently along the seam with the wet clay, adding some pressure just at the seam to smooth it out. So you have the rest of this period. Let me pause.